Oh, dude, giant, 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 absolute giant, absolute giant. What we are about to do might be the dumbest decision I've ever made. Just recently, my buddy Bill, this is Bill, he flew all the way from Michigan down south to the beautiful state of Texas over the past couple of days. We've been on what most would call, I don't know, a uh, absolute freaking wiener grinder. We have caught fish and we did manage to catch an absolute giant being this one, but it just so happened to be on a day where we didn't get any other bites. I was sick as a dog, still I'm kind of sick as a dog, but uh, it's been quite the struggle. Yesterday we went to downtown Austin to see if we could get on a nice pre-spawn spawn bite. We managed to catch a lot of fish, but still not that giant that Billy came down here for. So I decided to step back in the pocket, look for my wide receivers who were about 80 yards away, rear back, throw the pig all the way into the end zone, which most people would call an absolute freaking Hail Mary. And we've sent it to the border of Texas and Mexico, to a lake that I've never fished before. This lake has extreme potential. Although I've never been here, I have a lot of faith, and this is Billy's last day. So the main goal is to get one bite, and that being an absolute freaking behemoth largemouth bass. Wieners, stick with us, stay tuned, and let's get a bake. We're getting into the thick of it right now. This might be a, a stupid decision, but there's a beautiful creek back there and we need to figure out what's lurking. We gotta go through this field of sticks though, this is absolutely nuts. Even if we can just get one bite back here, this would be the most goaded sh** ever. I ain't never done anything like this before. <laughs> wow, yeah, I need, up there looks unreal. I just need to, I think I need to cut across. I don't give a sh I don't give a <laughs> You know, they make these boats for like big, deep, clear water reservoirs up north, but I just said that. We're going to the back of a creek in the middle of nowhere. Two feet of water, baby, let's go! Ha <laughs> ha put it there, homie. We may not catch today, but we're having fun. Now that we've snuck into the back of this, this creek, or I guess the mouth of the creek, 65. If they aren't back here humping and reproducing, then I don't know what to think. Oh, is there a fence? Caleb, are you sure we went the right way? There's a fence that goes across this. There ain't no f way. No, how about you guys? Nothing. No. We, we haven't caught a single fish. This lake sucks. <laughs> Why don't you go to Falcon? Or <laughs> I'd rather you not tell me that. <laughs> Why are they not up shallow here? This lake is different. This, lake's, this lake is tough. Oh. I fish all day and I catch one fish. You can flip a 10 or an 11 or a 12. That's this lake. Like who it is. We got some very vital intel from an individual that was fishing the lake that we were just at. Um, he said verbatim, why the f you guys out here? And then proceeded to tell us that uh, the lake that we were fishing is good for one bite, that being a big fish, which was kind of the reason why we were out there, but not a very good place to catch many fish. <laughs> We've now resorted to fishing a lake that I'm somewhat familiar with, that being Lake El Falcon. It's not El Falcon, it's not the Falcon, it's just Lake Falcon. But the cool thing about Lake Falcon right now is the water's coming up and with there being water in the brush, there should be bass up shell. The water's like, I think 65 degrees over here. We are out of the wind. We got absolutely soaked, hence why my hair is wet. We got absolutely soaked on the rip here because it's blowing 90 miles an hour. But we got out of the wind. We're gonna go flip some brush and hopefully maybe, just maybe, we'll catch a bass today. We haven't gotten a single bite today, which is unbelievable. Oh, I feel so bad, Billy. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> it's all good, dude. Oh. I've never been down this far south in Texas, and it really is like a different country down here, honestly. So it's been cool. It's been cool to see all this stuff, but I do hope we stick into one or two Falcon biggies, though. We literally traveled all the way to the border of Texas and Mexico 
only to just not catch a single fish all day. I threw all my eggs in one basket, that being the big bass basket, and uh, fished two lakes today without a single, I don't think we got a single bite. So technically Billy's full last day today, but he does fly out tomorrow at 7 p.m. So we might try to make the most of it. I figured I'd give you guys a quick update <clears throat> and just let you know, we're not giving up. That keep fishing, never stop mentality always stays true. I'm feeling sick, I'm gross. We have a seven and a half hour drive all the way back to DFW tonight, and it's like freaking 6 p.m. Um, <laughs> yeah, I guess uh, this is a testament. Hopefully tomorrow we can figure something out. If not, then oh well, it was good hanging out with Billy and we made the most of it and we filmed an interesting video for you guys. Oh, what a struggle. Billy, we're back. New Lake, seven hours later. <laughs> if Caleb was here, he would have filmed this, the debacle that um, practically just ensued. It's never good when you start the day with a DeWalt drill, some drill bits, a hammer. My trolling motor bolt was locked tight. It was so locked tight for whatever reason that um, it wouldn't spin my prop on my trolling motor. So this thing was locked tight enough to like Billy and I both combined couldn't physically grab it and crank it back. So we, we came up with a game plan of just trying to get some equipment at Home Depot then to come back here and fix this issue. I said, screw it, I'm gonna keep trying. So I started beating on it with a hammer. And uh, you know, when something won't come undone, just beat the ever living of it. We're back, the prop's working. She's good to go. We're on one of my favorite lakes today. Billy unfortunately has to fly out in the evening, but we have essentially three quarters of the day to make something happen. This lake is so much fun. It can be very productive and uh, we're gonna see if we can get a couple good bites. Water sounds still a little too cold for like flipping shallow, but it should warm up by the end of the day. So maybe we'll get an opportunity to go flip some up. Fingers crossed today. Let's redeem ourselves from yesterday's mission. At least you know a lot of people fish. <laughs> oh my God, dude, I just got absolutely sh on, dude, I just got absolutely f shit on. Whew. I don't know how the f I did not hook that fish and put a trailer hook on. That was unbelievable. <laughs> oh, honestly, honestly, I don't know. Do animals? I'm sure, animals do the same thing. Oh, there we go. Got him. Yeah. Good one. There we go. Good one. Oh, dude, giant, 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 giant. giant. Absolute giant. Absolute giant. Absolute giant. Oh, absolute giant. Dude. Oh my God. Get him. <laughs> Got him. I wish you. I wish dude, you would have caught it, but it's a unit. <laughs> We needed, we needed that, dude. Look how she ate it too. Oh, on the trailer hook too. I just made that, oh, that uh, adjust. Oh my lord. But she goes close to eight. Gosh, she's so fast. Oh. She's, got, dude, she's gotta be eight. Look at that zinger. That zinger is gone, brother. That zinger's gone. Okay, I know of a guy that might have some. Eight, nine. Look at that fish. She's bleeding a little bit. I'm gonna give her a quick dunk and show you guys. This absolute behemoth. Billy and I have been absolutely struggling for the past couple of days. I mean, we literally drove the entire south to north span of Texas, and we finally have our first freaking bass in two days. Just so happens to be the right one, a big pre-spawn female. Urban fish, too. We were fishing uh, one of my favorite urban spots. Look at the tail, too. That fish might have been, might be an old spawn mark, or maybe a little bit of spawning this year. We're gonna snag a quick picture and send her back. Whew. We need to find your bigger sister and it needs to uh, bite Billy's rod. Look how healthy that fish is. Like just a perfect largemouth bass. Eight pounds, 10 ounces. A little bit of blood, but she should be good. Okay, awesome. Whew. I'm so freaking glad we made that happen, dude. Usually I crank and jerkbait fish this dam, but for whatever reason, seeing as the water was so dirty, I had to throw a, a, a spinnerbait and I missed a bite earlier and said to myself, I have to switch to the trailer hook. I gotta put a trailer hook on there. Sure enough, that was the only hook that was in that fish's face. Um, Billy, I'm not gonna tell you what to do, but maybe let's throw a spinnerbait. Let's all throw spinnerbaits. That might be a good idea. Oh, thanks. That is insane. <clears throat> I've actually gotten a chance to fish this like many times, but very rarely do I see 
water going up and over that hole. It almost looks like that hole goes straight to the earth all the way to um, China, but it doesn't. It doesn't. Shocker, right? Most lakes have a dam that has a spillway so that when the water gets to a certain level, uh, they can either pump water out physically with like, a, like an actual pump station or water goes over the spillway and it keeps the lake from completely flooding and washing out docks and houses. But this is the only lake that I know of in Texas that has one of these giant like hole type spillways. It's pretty cool, but it's also like really scary too because without these like orange barriers right here, um, we could get sucked down in there. I don't know what that would look like or how that would end out, but probably not good. We're back on them. We're gonna see if we can um, get another big one. I'm getting the vibe today that we're not gonna to get too many bites, but the bites we're gonna get are gonna be quality or there'll be catfish, as you saw. I just wanna show you guys a giant hole. It's pretty neat. It's pretty holy. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Anyway, let's keep fishing. We're back to the dam. Wind's picking up. Things are looking good. Got him. Nice, man. Keep him tight. Big one? Oh yeah, it's solid. Giant, it's we'll easy. take it though. You want help or you got him? Yeah. I got him. Good fish. Good fish. Oh, yes, Thank God. Hey, you're not leaving At home empty-handed. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely not like a freak of nature. But closer to a Texas sized bass that we've been yeah, searching yeah, after. So. Alright boys, so it's been quite the journey. Honestly, I've you know probably driven more in the last couple of days and <laughs> I've done since I was college angling. So honestly we've been a, almost to Mexico. Uh, now we're really, really close to the airport, just kind of wrapping up the trip, trying to catch a couple last minute nice ones and probably a good, I don't know, upper three pounder right yeah. there. Let nice, you go as close to four. pre-spawn fish. Yeah, we'll probably toss her on the scale just in case if we get a couple more. You finally got one, man. Got one though, man. And we're not done. Yeah, we're not done. Yeah. <clears throat> I think they might be turning on. The water's getting a bit yeah. warm. We have a few more hours, honestly, too. 60 degrees is all it needs to get to and then yep. it could get really weird. We're touching 59 right now, too. Yeah, I'm gonna say four. Yeah, she's gotta be red at. That's what I'm thinking too. Yeah, just over. Four, four. Hell yeah, dude. What other homie? Four and a quarter. Woo! Decent. That feels good. Finally <laughs> yes, a hook sir. set that's not us getting snagged. Not a line, not a rock, not a tree. <laughs> yep. Sweet. Fish beef. Right. Let's toss her back, Here homie. She goes. Four and a quarter. Hopefully that thing pairs up with a like 12 pound female. Yes, sir. And makes some good Janines. We needed that, homie. We did. It is only, I think, like 12, 10, 12, 20, and like I said, Billy leaves at seven. So this is such a good feeling to start building a little bit of momentum here and then having more time to fish. Um, yeah, he caught that one on a bladed jig with a happy trailer, Guggen happy trailer, which is an awesome trailer for swim jigs. There she is right there. She is the culprit. S swim jigs, spinner baits, and then also bladed jigs. Awesome trailer. It's actually one of our top sellers right now as spring gets kind of crazy. Um, guys are starting to throw some moving baits up shallow and you need you need a good partner for your moving bait you need a good trailer and that's why you got to get happy with it anyway that was so corny let's keep cranking Billy's gonna fish reaction i'm gonna flip and slow down and see if we can get another bite we got a four four and an eight not bad for two fish no not a ton of them just a couple how about yourself uh four four yeah yep that's yeah, not bad Nice. Three. Any big ones? Huh. Nice. Any any time now. I think they'll probably move up by the end of the day, and then. Yeah. Yeah. Fat, fat. That's good to hear. <laughs> we need some long, fat, fat ones. That's what we need. Here's one. Oh. Bucky. <laughs> they are up shallow. Oh, and goodbye. See you later, bud. Goodbye. Goodbye. Stuck that one on the old nuke punch. I was punching some brush with the old nuke. The wind has picked up. It's exactly what we were looking for. Unfortunately, it didn't help out the dam bite. It's just a dam bite with an N. Unfortunately, we're running out of time, but we're gonna hit one last spot before Billy heads back up north. It's been a good day. We redeemed ourselves for sure. Cannot believe it though. All we had to do was travel literally 30 minutes outside my backyard and uh, yeah, we just did a whole hell tour of, of Texas. Anyway, I know I keep dwelling on it. Let's uh, let's shut up and uh, head to the spot where we caught two fish and hope for a third. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot, like a lot of like fish right here. The, the shad gets, I think they get pulled in by that pipe and bass just come up. There we go, nice one, dude. Yep, nice one. Get big one, big one, bro. Big one. Yeah, it's a nice one. 
Oh yeah. my gosh. Dude. That's a good one. Good. It's not as big as my last one, but it's a good one. <laughs> I thought he was bigger too. There we go. Boat flip. <laughs> nice fish. My second one of the day. Things are heating up over on this bank. I think we're figuring them out. It seemed like a lot of guys were, were coming up here in the shallows too early, it seemed. We uh, were one of them, and I noticed the water just was not quite there yet. So we decided to back off, try the dam. That resulted in our big bite of the day. And this is our second fish and probably another four pounder. Unbelievable. Shaping out to be an all right day for a pressured urban water like this. 311, 311, pretty fish. Back she goes, dude. Thanks for smacking the zinger. Dude, it felt so much bigger than that. So the tactic that uh, Billy and I are doing is we've honed in on the fact that these fish are not necessarily on the bank super tight, but they are just a stone's throw away. And I imagine literally this week, it'll be full on spawnage, which is the earliest I've seen the bass spawn here in North Texas in a long time. But what we're doing is we're taking uh, bladed jigs and zingers this is a half ounce. I got a little trailer hook on there. And if you're not familiar with the trailer hook, it's basically an extra hook that you attach to your other hook and you use that as a way to get fish that short strike hit. For whatever reason, spinnerbaits are notorious for drawing in short strikes. Fish will just try to hit the blade or, or flash on it opposed to actually sucking it down like they would a stick bait or maybe a jig. So I'm using the trailer hook today and that's the only way I got my, my eight pounder. That was the only hook that was in that fish's mouth. Uh, Colorado and a willow leaf, gold and silver. It's my two favorite combos. And it's in a chartreuse white color. Billy Stern, basically, like I said, a bladed jig, chartreuse white, and he's got the happy trailer. If you guys wanna pick up any of this stuff, check the link down below, use my code, John B. Save 10% off. But yeah, we've been bouncing around doing a lot of different techniques today, but this seems to be the one that we're getting bites on and they're quality bites, you know, three, four, and eight, can't complain, especially on a lake like this, it gets absolutely hammered. This is not a, a hidden spot, um, but you know, it's all about timing, going out there, making the right cast, getting the right cadence, and how we're fishing is pretty simple. We're, we're casting a few feet off the bank, and we are just slowly reeling that bait in, keeping it about, you know, three to, two to three feet off the bottom, and that's important because these fish are not like, you know, smack dab on the dirt or the sand. They are, it seems like just a couple feet off the bottom, getting ready to move up a shaller and dump their eggs and make some babies, some bass babies. Well, I got a fish on that boat. Oh yeah. Yeah, it tells you like where they're at and how far. Yeah, it's just telling you right now. Yeah, right now, I mean, there's, there's a bunch of stuff like around. I, I don't know what they are though. I think that some of them are sloppy. I know we caught we caught one there a couple hours ago and then we talked to a guy over here he caught one but it's not water's not warm enough yet you got one big one giant oh my god giant 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 bring it giant bring it bring it I got him I got him I got him there we go we got one <laughs> Dude, I watched him eat that scope. Did you really? Yes. Are you recording for that too? Yeah, I was sitting down. <laughs> yeah, it is, man. That's what I'm thinking. Seven or eight. <laughs> Holy. Yo, I just watched the blob come up. Bro. Oh my god, bro. What yeah. just happened? <laughs> man, finally, we have. We were gonna hit one more spot. We probably have like maybe 10 more minutes of fishing and I'm heading back to Michigan and I got my Texas sized bass boys. Yes, we did. That's it, what I've been after. We did Absolutely it. giant pre-spawn female. Oh, definitely over seven. Yeah, might might be it. close to eight. It's pretty She's long. Gotta be. She's another fat one. What do we got here? Eight pounder. Eight pounder. Eight, eight one. Eight pound one ounce. Eight pounder. What do I, what do I oh, nice. Hey, thanks for the good luck, man. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> you're just asking if we saw any fish, and I was like, oh, I mean, there's some around, but they're not really eating. And then I saw one big blob. What's that? Yeah, we're putting it back. Gosh. Dang. Nah, she got to get big, That's man. That's a giant one. Yeah, she's got to be a 10 pounder, hopefully soon. <laughs> but yeah, we got to get a couple pictures of that fish, get her back in the water. Eight, eight pounds, what? Eight one, eight one. Eight one. Yeah, eight oh, pound yeah, one dude. ouncer. <laughs> Put her there. We got some pictures. We documented her. <laughs> Second eight pounder of the day. Let's send her back. Yes, sir. <clears throat> God, that's a big fish. That is a unit. 
Yes, yes, sir. <laughs> hey, now you can leave with I was, I was already, some satisfaction. I was going to say, I already had a great time. Yeah. It's been so awesome catching up with you. It's been <laughs> oh, yeah. like four years since I've been down here, but I definitely did come to try to catch a fish, at least somewhere in that caliber right there. I wanted, I actually, I think I told you I wanted an 8+. Plus. 8+. Plus. I think that's what I said. I'm we almost did it, positive. Because that's, that's like a little bit out of the range that you typically see in Michigan. It seems like every year I get like one random, like seven something, but don't see a lot of eight pounders in Michigan, so I wanted to try to get one down here in Texas. So oh. super stoked that we actually made it I'm happen. I'm so happy that right happened. Dude. Congrats. <laughs> Wainers. We did it. We successfully ended on a high note. That is my goal for any big fishing trip, whether I've got friends coming down to Texas to take their time to hang out with me, or if I'm just soloing and I'm having a hard time for the first start of the trip. I always want to come in clutch, Tom Brady style in the fourth quarter and make it happen. I think we had something like 24 pounds just for four fish, which is pretty awesome for a lake where it seemed like most people were leaving. I, I thought it was gonna be better th even than it was, but we're still just a little bit too early. I think in a couple of days it's gonna right off. But anyway, what a bit for all of you guys. Huge shout out to Billy for coming down here, sp spending some time hanging out with us, you know, having a couple good laughs, traveling literally all the way from north to south, south to north. <laughs> of Texas, the state of Texas, pretty much all the whole freaking state, it seems like. But uh, we're peace and not signing out. If you guys wanna see more bass fishing videos, let me know, drop a comment down below. I'm trying to get back in the swing of kind of what I used to do, and that is creating big projects, but also doing stuff like this, where we drop in on a little creek, do some kayaking, take the big boat out and explore, and try to catch some bass, because it is the season. It is spawning time. But I'm peace and out, signing out. Thanks for watching yet another episode. Catch you on the next one, as always, folks. Keep fishing, never stop.